So about this projection, uh, let's come back to our uh, problem. So the, the, the thing is that when the orthogonal space to the one you are projecting onto has dimension one, it's very, very easy to project on it. And what we want is we want to use um, the fact that um, uh, X is, uh, well, that's uh, any X is going to be an uh, uniquely written as an element of F and its orthogonal, and which is simply, uh, as we saw, the projection of an F of X plus the projection on F orthogonal um, of X. And the nice thing is that once you have one of them, you have the other. Uh, if that's called X, sorry, um, if this is called uh, XF, and this one is called XF orthogonal. We have that um, each, any of those, XF, for instance, is going to be given by X minus XF orthogonal. Okay, or uh, very similarly, you have, of course, that uh, X. F orthogonal would be given by X minus XF. But uh, the thing is that uh, in, in the case where uh, the orthogonal, as I mentioned, one has here, this one is very, very simply obtained. Okay, XF orthogonal is just going to be given by, um, so the inner product of X with, um, the, uh, let's call that E3, the one vector, well, th there's only one vector, if it has dimension one, uh, that would be normalized. Okay, so that's very, very easy. In our case, we have that E3, so we are still in the um, F, in the case where F is actually the plane defined by X plus Y plus Z is equal to zero. So we've got, um, um, uh, that's the orthogonal uh, vector, the normal vector is going to span the orthogonal space, okay? And so F orthogonal is going to be spanned by uh, vector one, 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 okay? So, and we just need to normalize uh, this one. So that's going to be one, divided by norm of vector one 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 times the vector one 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 so the norm of one 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 is going to be uh, one over uh, is going is a uh, square root of three so that's one over square root of three times one 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 okay so that now uh, if i take any x its projection on f orthogonal is uh, going to be given by um, x Scalar product with one over square root of three one 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 times uh, one over square root of three times one one one. Uh, there's something nice happening in the calculations, and it's going to happen all, all the time. Is that you have one uh, over the norm, one over the norm, so you can always factor by one over norm square. So so that when you get those square roots, it does disappear. So you get um, one over uh, three times um, x one 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 times one one one, and so in our case that's giving us um, one over three vector one two three with one 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 times one one one. So that's one plus 2 plus 3, that's uh, 6, divided by 3, that's 2, times 1, 1, 1, so that we have that x, f orthogonal is uh, the vector 2 times uh, 1, 1, 1, okay, and so that the norm, and actually that gives us what we are looking for, we are looking for x minus p of x, right, and that's exactly x F orthogonal, right? So um, we, if we're looking for the um, norm of it, this is what we get. 
that gives us so as before uh, square root of 12 so that's 2 square root of 3 just like before okay uh, so that's I just realized that um, there was some something wrong in the previous calculations where well, we, we get the opposite of it it's just that uh, when we do x minus p of x here that should be um, that should be the opposite so but anyway that's um, x minus p of x that should be the opposite so so yeah well, well actually it's going to it's giving us the same value in it because we're interested in the norm okay so this being said uh can we get the matrix of a projection okay that's i know you've worked on that with mr bali so it's just uh a, a review pro probably uh, of the projection except that we are now where we have more tools to work this out okay uh matrix of the projection um again you know that a matrix if I've got uh, a linear map P, the matrix of the map is going to be the um, uh, matrix where I take, um, where I get as columns, the uh, um, image of the a basis. Uh, well, of the, well we're, we are working this of, with the standard basis. So we should take um, the image of the standard basis, all right? B is uh, standard basis. But the thing is that, again, it's going to be very easy to get the image of anything on uh, the space F orthogonal. So we're looking at this one. Why? Because that's the projection on F orthogonal for any X. Again, it's going to be given by X with um, maybe I should change my my names. I've already used the E, so let's call this B. B1, B2, B3, B1, B2, B3. Okay, so and I'm go I'm going to use the same E uh, as before. So I had called that um, just before I had called this vector E3. So P with E3. E3, okay. So and E3 was given by uh, one over square root of three times one one one, right? So here it's going to be very easy to calculate um, the projection on F orthogonal of well, let's take B1 equals to one zero zero, B2 equals to zero one one zero one zero sorry, and B3 equals to zero zero one. So uh, the projection of E of B1 is going to be 100 zero zero with um, 1 over square root of 3, 1, 1, 1 times 1 over square root of 3 times 1, 1, 1. And so we get it's just going to be um, 1 over 3 uh, times the vector 1, 1, 1. Okay, so 1 over 3, 1 over 3, 1 over 3. You do the same calculations for the uh, two others, and actually you get 1 over 3, 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 1 over 3. Maybe pause the video and take some time to redo this to convince yourself that this is true. And then how do I get the matrix? So if ever I want to uh, calculate the projection, so let's take give a name to this matrix. I've got enough P's, so let's call this M. Uh, if you want to calculate the projection on F orthogonal of any X, you can also do as M matrix M times X. Okay, that's uh, all the things that we've learned. I've taught us that uh, this linear map could be expressed as the product of a matrix times a vector. Okay, now if I, but originally I was looking for the projection on f not the projection on its orthogonal what do i get um, i'm using the fact that um, x can be re written as projection on f of x 
plus projection on f orthogonal of x okay that's again that's the fact that uh our, the space e well in our case r3 is the direction of f plus f um orthogonal right and so if i've got the projection on one of these the other one pf of x is just going to be x minus pf orthogonal of x which in terms of matrices can be rewritten as identity uh, minus uh, the matrix representing pf orthogonal so i've called that m times x so that in that our case um, uh, mf okay the matrix the matrix of the projection on f is going to be given by identity identity minus the previous matrix for that we had uh, found so that would be one minus one over three so two over three minus one over three minus one over three minus one over three two over three okay on the diagonal i get two over three and everywhere else i get negative one over three Okay, and you can redo all the calculations to see that it's indeed working.